This is Matt Coyne, host of The Cheap Seats. Thank you for listening to the following broadcast here on Public Health Media. Do you need some extra motivation in your life? Are you looking to be inspired? If so, then look no further than the Good God Company. At the Good God Company, their mission is to create and clothe all loving humans with their unique, inspiring, and beautifully designed t-shirts. All of the products from the Good God Company are equally designed to motivate you and improve your life. From their mugs, workout tanks, to eye-appealing shirts and sweatshirts. Learn more about their renowned products by visiting thegoodgodcompany.com. That's thegoodgodcompany.com. The Good God Company is proud to support public house media. The The Good Good God God Company. Company. I'm I'm feeling feeling good. good. This is Julianne Condia, host of Rewritten here on Public House Media. Thank you so much for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Rewritten, where we will talk about you having limitless potential and can rewrite your story at any time. No matter your background, your past, or current situation, you can have the type of life you crave. A new show comes out every single Monday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Rewritten. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. How's it going, everybody? Hey, guys. Talking with Keith. And Katie. And I'm, and I'm Joe. This is Joe. We're having ice cream with Joe. No coffee today. No coffee today, but and we, we started eating our ice cream a little earlier. It was going to melt. Yeah. I had a a caramel sundae. You can tell there's still a little bit left in there. Joe, what do you have in your cup? I had a sea salt malt crunch, which was unreal. Really good. <laughs> Katie? <laughs> I have butter pecan. Butter pecan. All right. So. Holy butter goodie. So this is the first installment, we hope, of the tour guide series. All of the tour guides at Wrigley have super awesome side gigs and sometimes several side gigs. And I think everyone should know about them. Yeah, I agree. We're starting with Joe. Joe. You eat ice cream every single day. Yes, uh, and I've uh, started being legitimate about it. I've probably been eating ice cream every day as long as I can remember, but this year, I just decided I'll share it with the world. I'll tell everybody I'm doing it. Yeah. And look at what great friends it's brought me. Right? Joe has the, the coolest fanny pack, because Joe can pull off, pull off a fanny pack. Girls can. Yes. But you it, don't think so? I think I'll, I'll, I don't know. Katie could. Katie can pull off anything. All of, all other girls can. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you, you don't want a forty-year-old mom with a, a fanny pack. You just can't. Anyway. There, she's already got enough bags. You know. Right. You got the diaper bag and the purse. And, but his fanny pack has ice cream cones all over it. It does. It guilty as charged. And you know, my mom got it for me for my birthday this year because. She knows that I've been eating so much ice cream, and I tell people that. I don't know if I should tell people that. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely tell people. You think so? Because like, I don't know. There's there's something about like being a mama's boy that I'm like worried about, but like I very honestly am. You know, like she knows that I'm live. I just don't know if uh, she's in a Wi-Fi zone right now. I'm like, Mom, I'm doing a podcast. Like, watching, you know, like, I chose Mom. Hey, Mom. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're watching. If, uh, David, we... thanks for joining as always. Hey, David. Oh, nice, David. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Mama's boy, sweet gift. She rocks. <laughs> so, what's your favorite ice cream place in Chicago? Well, today, we're at Margie's today, which is a mutual favorite. Margie's really is one of my absolute favorites here. It's been around since the 20s. And you can kind of see why, right? I mean, like, huge portions. This whole thing was filled with ice cream. It was filled for this ice cream sundae. It's all there. Look at all that extra. Absolutely punished. Um, Took it out. 
And they make it so fast. Um, I love George's in Andersonville. I don't know if you've all been there. Um, it's They serve ice cream from uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Oh! Yeah, they get their ice cream made in Wisconsin. Are you from there, too? I'm also from Wisconsin. I'm okay. around the Green Bay's. Cool, yeah. You all make the best ice cream, and the smart places in Chicago know to order it from you instead of do it themselves. And... Um, yeah, so those are my top two. Let me think for a second. I mean, Jenny's is in Chicago, but I don't think it really counts because it's a chain. Sure. How do you all feel about the chain? Well, I, didn't, I thought it was a chain in Chicago. It's a nationwide chain. Yeah, so like, but the reason why you think that, I think, is because they do such a good job of making you feel like this is a local shop that's right. very well run and well executed. Exactly. You're at home, you know? It's like, this is your neighborhood shop. But they've mastered doing that all over the country, like California, uh, D.C. just got one. They're from Ohio originally, so I guess it's Michigan and Ohio. Who's Wisconsin's man? Is it is it Illinois? Is that your main rival? As a state? As a state, yeah, definitely. Because we call people from Illinois Fitz. What's that stand for? It's not appropriate. Not, 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 not appropriate right now. Not appropriate. David knows, David knows what David a knows. is. <laughs> well, I, I uh, am luckily not from here, so, um, yeah. but uh, dang, uh, I gotta look it up. But you're, yeah. you're traveling all over. Like, you were just in Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, we were in Wisconsin. Um, we're going to Michigan and uh, Minnesota in August and September. Uh, my girlfriend and I are going to road trip from here to Maine in the first half of September. Uh, I was in New York in April. I'm just trying to see as many ice cream this places is, as This I is can. all a quest to find the best ice cream. Yeah. And, you know, I still got the whole West Coast. I don't know how I'm ever going to make it out there, but right. I got it. And you uh, you were in a contest. You were in an ice cream eating contest? I was. I ate at the Sunday Thursday Festival. In Two Rivers or Manitowoc. Uh, am I saying that right? Manitowoc. Manitowoc. Just, just close. Manitowoc. 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 Yeah, just yeah. smooth. Yeah, I, I really like hardly enunciate. You know yeah, it's Manito- Manitowoc. Yep. There we go. You got it. You got I, it. I was like learning on the fly out there. <laughs> um, it was, uh, it's this town that claims that they created the ice cream sundae. And uh, so we went there and it was awesome. Um, I did this eating competition. I finished dead last. <laughs> they had to like tap me on the shoulder and be like, hey, you can finish your ice cream still, but you got to get off the table. Other people need to eat. So... New competition time, but uh, yeah, it was uh, you know I, I still really enjoyed the ice cream. So when you say we, who's we? So I have a director uh, named Cassie. She uh, is amazing. Uh, she directs for Second City's Green Co. Touring Company. So like Second City has the main stage and the ECC stage, and they have like six person touring companies that they'll send to Wisconsin or California, wherever they get hired, and she directs one of those, and this is a side project of hers, and same with mine, and then her husband was our camera guy, Her name, his name is Anthony, and we had a sound guy named Leo, whose dad did sound for Oprah. Like did you like like did audio mixing for Oprah? Isn't that wild? Yeah. He had never done anything sound related before, and his dad was like, "If you need any help, let me know." And I like didn't even know that about him, but he was a natural. Like, if you ever need anybody to do audio, this guy Leo Chappelle. It's amazing. Leo Chappelle. Leo Chappelle. What's up, Leo? You watch? <laughs> so what is what are you doing it for? Is it like a compilation thing, or is it just on Instagram? That's a great question. So, uh, this whole thing started on Instagram by accident. Uh, we all live here now, so I'm sure you remember some of these January days where it's like six degrees. Uh, I have a video from January 5th after a show that I was doing around town where um, I went, I was really craving ice cream, and I like went in like, you know, my ski mask and, you know, gloves and 
huge jacket and like I just jokingly like said like 365 day ice cream challenge and started eating a choco taco in the middle of the snow and um, it was uh, it was really fun and people started messaging me like are you really eating ice cream every day of the year and I was like <laughs> Maybe. Pretty much eat ice cream every day of the year, so like, I guess I am, yeah. And then it kind of just uh, snowballed, and um, one of my friends who works for the Food Network was like, hey, like, let's make a series about this, and I wanted to, and uh, so we started working on it. He got very busy with some other stuff, but uh, my friend Cassie was like, well, we should still do that. And so we're just going to these cities, like, talking to the shop owners, the people who eat the ice cream on a regular basis, and, um, you know, I met Jenny, which was really cool, and... From just, Jenny's Ice Cream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was doing a grand opening at Wrigley. Oh, okay. And I did the dumbest thing. I used our tour discount, and, uh, or, like, you know, like, our Cubs discount, and I, uh... I bought myself a jersey that says ice cream on the back, and I bought her a jersey that says Jenny on it, which is, you know, just, I was like, I love her, and she's making Wrigley so much sweeter, like, I gotta say thanks somehow, and not just be like, you know, annoying to her, and she loved the jersey, and we got to talk for like a half hour, it was really cool, we took some pictures together, which certainly, like, they, they put me on their Instagram story, and like, it was nice, I mean... Cool. Yeah. yeah. So what's the next stop? What's the what's the next stop for you and I? So we're figuring out if we should go to Michigan or Minnesota first, because Minnesota is gonna be a three day trip. Yep. Michigan will only be a two day trip. Um, we're looking at calendars to figure out the August shoot dates and then we're gonna be out of town on that road trip the first two weeks of September, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be Michigan or Minnesota, but it'll probably be one of those two in August. And probably Michigan because it's shorter and easier. Um, but, I don't know. The I guess the real next stop will probably just be, like, to my house. I'll probably eat more ice cream later, to be honest. Like... Yeah, you said, when we were when we were in line, you were getting an ice you were you got your ice cream cone. You said, "I'm going to eat more ice cream later." So what's on what's on the what's on the menu later then? So uh, I don't know if you all have had graters. Have you ever tried that? It's from Ohio, um, but they like they started making pints, um, and it's amazing. It's like I know this sounds like a very trivial thing, but like. Um, their pre-packaged ice cream is better than most ice cream I've had in Chicago. Like, really? Yeah, that you could buy in a grocery store and in grocery stores, and I don't know if, Keith, it sounds like you might have done this once or twice, but like, you open the freezer, and if you're doing that, and I'm doing that, that happens probably, you know, like, those freezers are open for like 30, 40 minutes a day. <laughs> you know, like, by the end of the day. And it's still better. It's still better. They're amazing. I... I have a tremendous amount of respect for them. I have two of their pints. I just bought, have you ever seen those like um, open chest freezers? You know, it's not like the regular, like, you know how your refrigerator oh, yeah. has like a door? Yeah, so Costco has like an open chest freezer because I was like taking up too much of my art. Like, I live with two other guys and they were kind of just like, dude, too much ice cream in here. Like, we need some freezer space too. I was like, I'm sorry, guys. I like, have a mini fridge. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably have some of that. Uh, oh, I don't know. I have that, Ben and Jerry's, and Talenti in my freezer right now. So I'm an addict. I think it, I think ice cream and sugar are addicting, but we're all fit. Amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, we're, we're physically fit. People. And like, like you said, you have an amazing job that you can eat ice cream every day and be healthy. Yeah, I mean, we walk. Like, what? I don't know where your steps are at for the day, but I'm... Like, I'm usually clocking in around five to seven miles a day. Yeah, each, each tour is about a mile long. We'll do four or five. Yeah, and follow and lead. And then, like, and then it's also flights, right. you know? Like, yeah. we're going, like, it's bizarre, but those ramps, I think, count as, like, five or six flights of stairs. Or something, really? or something like that. Some huge, like, maybe even more like eight. Because you've been up there, you know, it's, like, really long, but... Yeah. 
a lot of walking. It is. It is right. a lot of walking. So, of course, this being Isaac, thanks for joining us. Hi, as Isaac. always, Isaac. Gangsters. <laughs> Sup, gangsters. Sup, <laughs> gangsters. <Yeah. Love laughs> gangsters. Um, all right, so this being the Wrigley oh, tour guide so series, you're our first time. tour guide. Uh, that we have, except yeah. for Katie, who's always, who's I'm always on. But, the MVP tour guy. So, yeah. so touching on that for a second, and as we were just on Wrigley, what's your favorite Wrigley Field memory that you have? Okay, well, this just happened the other day. Um, I'll be completely honest. I hope this doesn't ruin my reputation to um, your fan base, but I was raised a Yankee fan, similar to the, the way that Katie was raised a Packers fan and now lives in Chicago. Not that the Yankees and Cubs have a huge rivalry or anything like that, but like, um, I, I'm a Yankees fan, and uh, A-Rod was just here the other day um, for, I guess it was Sunday Night Baseball, but on Thursday, I, I don't know how it worked, but he was here, and my group stops by the press box, and I'm talking to them, and then out of nowhere, I hear everybody gasp and like, take out their phones, and like, going on and then I just feel some guy on my shoulder and he goes let me tell him have you told him yet and I'm like I don't I don't know <laughs> what are you gonna tell him he's like let me tell you some stuff about Wrigley and everybody's like yeah and um, uh, he's like have you told him about like the Wrigley's and when it was built I was like yeah but you tell him and he tells the whole group like these three facts that another tour guide told him in passing the day before and I was just I could not speak I was like a Rod, everybody! Yeah. And I was like gushing. I literally went like this, like I go, blah, 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 like, is this real life? I was, and, uh, I was following this tour. It was pretty amazing. You were following the tour. See, like that was how, like, <laughs> like I forgot that you were following the tour because I like forgot that I even had a follower because like time <laughs> stopped. And it's like weird because I was just telling you guys like he's kind of a, you know. Not the, not the best guy baseball wise he's juiced up a little bit but when you're around him it just melts away he's like sure an international superstar I'm like dude you're married to J-Lo <laughs> <laughs> who is way cooler than A-Rod I love A-Rod but if J-Lo came on my tour I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> alright so that's the bulk of the show however now if you've never seen the show before, that's all right. But every Monday show, we I play a game with Katie. And since Katie doesn't know a, a, still a ton about sports, would kill me when it comes to Cubs stuff. But she doesn't know players. I or, don't know the names and the stats. She doesn't know the names or the stats. So we always play a game that's called NFL or NBA. Okay. In which, in, right. In which I pick three pretty well-known players that are play either in the NFL or the NBA and I have and Kate has to guess whether or not they play in that league. However But I was telling Keith that you're a sports guy, I think that would be a little too easy for you. Right. So we're doing a completely different trivia game and it's centered around you. Whoa. And oh, ice you. and ice cream. And ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. so being the being the ice cream connoisseur that you are. Three ice cream questions for you. Number one, when, is, when, are, when was ice cream first created and what are the origins of the first ever ice cream? Ooh, what's, the, what's the year? And now I'm asking you to pick out one year, but if you get even close. Do you consider it United States or ever anywhere? Ever anywhere. The first record of an ice cream recipe. I would have to guess. I would have to guess, thirteen hundreds. You're actually going back quite a bit. Too far. Yeah, you're going back too far. Where Where do you have? What, what is the date that you have? Sixteen sixty five. Nice. The one that I is that from France or where Where was it made? I'm not sure. I got a. I, 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 I got. I got. The, I got the stuff from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah, so, it's a, you, know, you, know. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna look it up. That's for sure. Did right. you look up ice cream on Wikipedia? Is that how that works? Or and I also got. I also got this information from a BuzzFeed list. Okay. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check gonna this have out. To for my own, right? Yeah. For your own validation. Yeah. I why? Well, yeah. To, to learn. I'm learning right now. This is cool. <laughs> All right. So question number two. Um. What is it? 
when was the waffle cone first invented? Dang! You, you think that I know me, nothing about ice cream after this? Like, I mean, these are pretty obscure. These questions, are pretty nitpicky. Right? Yeah, these are pretty nitpicky. 1855. You're actually much closer than you were with the, the other. 1904. Whoa! 1904. Oh, first waffle cone. Of the, it was apparently first ever made. Um, in St. Louis during the World's Fair in St. Louis. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't that's, care. A, that's a good but, Cubs tour guide yeah. right there. Anything yeah. against St. Louis. Apparently whoever was serving ice cream at the World's Fair, they ran out of ice they ran out of cups to serve their ice cream. So somebody said, Hey, they're serving waffles down there. You should just put your ice cream on the waffle. Whoa, that sounds amazing. That's so cool that it came from a World's Fair, too. That's so... 1904? 1904. St. Louis. Board. Same list? BuzzFeed list? Yeah, okay. same BuzzFeed list. Cool. And then the third one. I hope I can get one. Well, I'm asking I'm asking you years and everything, so as long as you're getting close... I mean, you're not embarrassing yourself. Right? Okay. No, but who, who knows this other than BuzzFeed after doing, you know, a lot of research on it. So, That's true. You know, third, third question... What is the first company to come up with uh, chocolate chip cookie dough the flavor? And what year did they do that? Ben and Jerry's. Ooh. Got um, him. I want to say cookie dough was like 88 or something like that. Very close. When was it? 1991. 91. Dang, they also that came out with Cherry good. Garcia around that, that that's time. A, that's the right? one. He got that one. Yeah. He got that one. That yes. Right, right. I, isn't that so wild that it took until 1991 to be like, let's put this amazing dessert in this, this amazing, amazing dessert. Right? <laughs> ben and Jerry, it's like insane. Their whole thing was that they like, they were going to open up in a completely different place than Burlington, Vermont. But their whole idea was that they did not want to open up in a place where they'd have any competition. They were just like, we just want to be the only game in town. Like... We don't want to, like, knock somebody out or them knock us out. And they chose probably one of the dumbest places to make ice cream. But, like, yeah. I don't know if you saw... I mean, I don't mean any offense to Ben and Jerry. They're geniuses. But <laughs> um, they uh, they had this special in Vermont that they would take off of... Like, cones, when they opened up, were, like, 55 cents. And in the winter months, they would take a cent off for every degree below zero it was on their cone so if it's like 15 degrees below zero you're getting your cone for 40 cents instead of 55 but like man they're geniuses that's, that's a great geniuses. last question I love that one alright good so this being the end of the show but you being our guest and you doing your thing let everybody know where they can find you and uh, how they can continue to follow you and your request for finding great ice cream that would be awesome. Um, so I am on Instagram as Joe Loves Ice Cream, uh, and you can email me at Joe Friedman Loves Ice Cream at gmail.com if uh, you want to ask me anything else about ice cream, or you can follow me there. Um, I'm on Facebook as Joe Friedman, and um, thank you both so much for having me. This was such a good time. This was great. You gave, you gave us an excuse to go out and get ice cream. Yes. Uh, it was delicious, too. I love this place. It's a great mutual favorite. Yeah, it's, it's dangerous. I get on this. We're, we're right by. Uh, we're right by a train stop. I get on this train stop every day to go to work. So I have to walk past. You have to see this every day. Twice a day. Twice a day. I have to walk past it. Man, my wallet would be so thin if I <laughs> lived right next to this place. It's, I, I'm really lucky that I don't live close to any good ice cream. I have to like go for it. You know. <laughs> That's just right. All right. Well, this has been Coffee with Keith. And Katie. And Joe. On Public House Media. Brought to you by... The Good God. Check them out at thegoodgodcompany.com. As always, thank you so much to Joe for Thanks, joining us. Have a great day. Guest. It's a lot of and fun. we will see you all again on Thursday. As always, that's 7.34. More Coffee with Keith and Katie. Everyone have a good one.